I'm using Combi Tool Selection Mode for this part. The position and length of an inserted note will be based on the quantized grid value. The blue padlock indicates that the grid is active, meaning Snap to Grid is enabled. You can turn this on or off by left clicking on the padlock. Shift, left clicking and dragging will insert a note based on multiples of the active quantized grid value. If I change the grid value to one quarter from the drop down list, the grid changes to one quarter and the inserted note value is one quarter in length. Or multiples of that length if you extend the note. You can also use the hotkey Alt plus up or down to quickly cycle through the different grid quantize values. When inserting notes based on the quantization grid value, it's important to have the hash or pound symbol activated where it says length. This symbol locks the note length to the quantize grid. Providing this is activated, all newly inserted notes will be the same length as the quantize grid value. Choosing a note value from the length menu drop down list will determine the note length independently to the quantize grid value. Although these different length notes will still snap to the quantize grid. If you want to change the length of one or more notes, select the desired notes, place the mouse cursor at the right end until it turns into a single headed arrow, and drag to the new length. This can be done from the left or right side of the note. Extending the note will be based on multiples of the current grid quantize value. Using the Alt modifier will disable snapping and you can extend or shorten an existing note length without restrictions. Or you can click on the padlock to turn off snapping altogether. When the quantize padlock is turned off, the length of the inserted note will default to 1 64th. You can then just left click and drag to the right to freely draw in a note of the desired length. When using Combi Tool Selection Mode, you can also change the length of notes by clicking on the note icons. Select the note or notes you want to change and left click on one of the note values. Be aware that this method will only work when using Combi Tool Selection Mode. Clicking on these notation symbols will also define the value of a newly inserted note. Half note or minimum. quarter note or crotchet, and so on and so forth. Extending or shortening a note now will be based on multiples of the notation symbol value rather than the quantized snap value. But in essence, changing the note value using the notation symbols is the same as changing the note length from the drop down list. Notice the hash or pound sign has been replaced by the different note length value. However, in this case, when extending the note to the left, this will still be based on the increments of the grid quantize value. I hope that makes some kind of sense. To move notes, just left click and drag to the desired position. If snap is enabled, the note will be positioned based on the grid resolution. This is currently 1 16th. Use the H modifier to constrain movement to the horizontal plane. Or use the Shift modifier to constrain movement to the vertical plane. There is also a permanent setting in the options called Matrix Editor Use Different Zones for Horizontal and Vertical Movement. Enabling this option determines how you can move the note. Now, if you place the mouse cursor to the left half of the note, a double-headed horizontal arrow will appear. This means that note movement will be restricted to the horizontal plane. If you place the mouse cursor towards the right half of the note, a double-headed vertical arrow will appear. Note movement will now be restricted to the vertical plane. A small hint though, the menu item option usually works better when you are zoomed in on the MIDI notes. 
If you are zoomed out and working with many short notes, having this option enabled can sometimes make simple movement of shorter notes more awkward. So you have a choice of using temporary modifiers or the menu option for restricting vertical and horizontal movement. Use the ALT modifier to disable snapping when moving notes. You can also move notes using keyboard shortcuts. Using the up and down arrow will move the selected notes in semitone increments. You can also nudge selected notes left or right by going to the menu item, shortcuts, events, nudge to grid left or right. Or you may prefer to use the assigned hotkeys, which are Ctrl plus Alt plus 1 to nudge left, or Ctrl plus Alt plus 2 to nudge right. If you intend to use the nudge commands on a regular basis, you may find it better to reassign the hotkeys to more user-friendly single character keyboard shortcuts. To change the nudge value, change the grid resolution. Nudging will now be based on that new resolution. Copying notes in the MIDI editor works in a similar fashion to copying objects in the main VIP project window. Select the note or notes you want to copy, then hold down the control modifier to copy and drag them to the desired position. If the quantize grid is active, the copied notes will snap to this grid. To copy notes without snapping, use the modifiers control plus alt. This will allow you to copy the notes and position them freely. To retain accuracy when copying notes, do this. Use the modifiers Ctrl plus H when copying horizontally to constrain vertical movement. Likewise, you can use Ctrl plus Shift when copying vertically to constrain horizontal movement. Remember, you can always use the option Matrix Editor use different zones for horizontal and vertical movement. Useful if you're doing a lot of this kind of copying. You can also use the standard copy and paste commands. Select the notes and go to the menu item Edit, Copy, or press Ctrl plus C. Then place the play cursor at the position you want them pasted to. Then go to the menu item Edit, Paste, or press Ctrl plus V. If you want to copy a bunch of sequential notes, you can use the duplicate command. Select the notes and press Ctrl plus D. Each single press will duplicate the notes once. For rapid duplication, hold down the shortcut continuously. Select the eraser tool from the toolbar to erase MIDI notes. If you have another tool selected, right-clicking will bring up the eraser. This will save you having to change tools in midstream. To delete a note, right-click on the note. If you select multiple notes, right-clicking on one note will erase all the selected notes. Or you can just right-click and swipe a bunch of notes to delete them. Alternatively, just select the desired notes and press delete on your keyboard.